February 11th is the day of increased comfort. Individuals born on February 11th contribute to improving the quality of life around them. Such improvements can be conceptual, inventive and of a distinct variety. The key concept for the natives of February 11th is a continuous improvement because they think that things are not as comfortable or efficient as they could be in reality. Though comfort and luxury are the results of their efforts, most natives of February 11th do not adore luxury. The less evolved ones will constantly seek to obtain pleasure, but at some point will experience disappointment, jealousy, possessiveness and pain. For more advanced natives of this day, improving the situation of others is a creative endeavor that they follow fervently and with dedication. Those born on February 11th may overlook the fact that people prefer to be left to solve their problems in their own way, even if they make mistakes. Certainly, it can be difficult to see people stubborn or absurd repeating the same mistakes without trying to take advantage of opportunities for improvement. Natives of February 11th that reach high positions in society can be viewed with distrust by the most reactionary spirits who feel threatened by change and progress. In order to have lasting success, they will need to develop enough tact and diplomacy and learn to recognize situations that they have to avoid. Freedom is the central theme in the lives of those born on February 11th. Overcoming the limitations of the body is a challenge for them. In fact, natives of February 11th cannot stand being hindered by disadvantages, whether they are physical, mental or financial. In their desire to improve their group of friends, family or acquaintances, they demonstrate that there is a better way of doing things. However, they will end up being rejected for this behavior. Contributing to the quality of life of others, natives of February 11th want to make life easier, more enjoyable and more meaningful. Practical improvements can be a means to dedicate more time and energy to the intellectual, creative and spiritual concerns. Indeed, those born on this day are remarkable in that they are able to enjoy the pleasures of life without losing sight of what is important to them. Tips. Try to think more of people's desires and not only of their apparent needs. Respect the privacy of others. Follow your ideals and principles, but do not impose them on family and friends. Romantic attachments are predicted this coming year if you are born on the 11th day of February. Good fortune may attend you. Avoid lending any money. It is likely that you will receive some good news. February 11th is the National Foundation Day of Japan. Numerology. Ruled by Neptune. You are known to be ruled by day number 11 if you are born on the 11th of the month. There are many great political leaders, administrators, inventors, as well as artists born on February 11th. Leslie Nielsen, Burt Reynolds, Jennifer Aniston, Sheryl Crow, Thomas Edison, Pope Gregory XIV, etc. If your day falls on an 11, your ruling planet is Neptune. If you are born on the 11th, then you are affected by the numerology of the number 11. The power of your number makes you a great philosopher, laid-back and religious type of person. You are not a person who may get anything by being lucky. Your reward will come through means of hard work and dedication. There may be some disappointments on the way, but persistence is a must. Success is never easy to you. It is necessary that you keep working hard or may end up doing trivial jobs, and will have to live with unfulfilled desires and ambitions. But God Almighty has gifted you with strong willpower and a high level of mental dexterity. You like to peak less and you are a good follower. You have to guard against your short temper or you may lose your love and friends. You tend to live alone and you are not very comfortable in materialistic pleasures. You have to be careful about your married life, and you have to invest time and money to keep interested of your spouse. You find your heart at ease when following altruistic ambitions. When you are working for others you have a much better chance to succeed. You love to live in a fantasy world and you like to delve in mystic thoughts and solitude. You may not speak much in public, but you are very comfortable among like-minded people who will show you a remarkable streak of leadership, and you will easily influence them with your thoughts. You have to learn to keep up with your position even in face of opposition. 
You are always interested in the secrets of life after death. You may even be ready to talk to the dead through a medium. You love to research tarot, palmistry, astrology and the meaning of fingerprints. You have a special liking for history. You like to critically analyze everything including your inner thoughts, family, society, and the world at a large. You like to delve deeply into solitude. You have to guard against the tendency to exhibit strange and eccentric behavior. Many famous poets, musicians, writers, reformers and mathematicians, revolutionaries come under number 11. There is always a chance of you drifting away from homes and families. So to avoid this work to get along with others, or your life will go into solitude and sorrow. Your lucky numbers are 2 and 7. Your lucky days are the 2nd, 11th, 20th, and 29th. In any month your unlucky days are the 8th, 16th, 17th, and the 26th. There is a high chance of failure if you execute new projects on these unlucky days. Your lucky gem is the cat's eye. It shall give you courage and power to earn. It also improves your chances of success as an investor. Other lucky gems include pearl, moonstone, opal, or tiger's eye.